I'm Jamie Uretsky, curator of New Bedford Art Museum Artworks. And I'm chatting with the library's art curator, Ali Copeland, for today's Creative Convo. How did you pick, I mean, besides their, their um, like, gender, like, how did you pick the seven works that are in the show? Yeah, so um, it's tough because I think gender in, is as a as a way to make a show is a little bit reductive of like what the art actually is. So initially, my idea had been to pick artists that I could sort of compare. So like a modern landscape artist with a historic landscape artists, because that's something we have. Um, but that idea sort of fell apart, um, and I ended up uh, really just focusing on. Um, trying to show the diversity and the kinds of art that the women in our collection create. Um, so I chose a piece of fabric art, um, photograph, and um, uh, mixed media painting. So I was I was more focusing on trying to have different kinds of art pieces, um, just just the most exemplary ones that I thought uh, kind of worked together. You're talking about some of the the visual conversations that some of the work have with each other. Can you yes. highlight one of those conversations in the show? Yes. So I'm thinking of the Louisa Rickardson uh, maritime landscape that's a copy of a William Turner painting. And that has this really beautiful sort of luminous um, a yellow kind of light that's uh, reflecting on the water that's very obviously reminiscent of Turner um, that she did um, as a copy when she was learning. Um, but that kind of quality of light, I think, really is a great piece to compare with Carolyn Swise's um, Dairy Queen, because that one has this like great, like vibrant pink um, uh, light. And I just think the two uh, really complement each other. So they're not right next to each other on the wall, um, but they, I think, definitely work together. And then right next to Louisa Rickinson is um, Allison Wells, and she also has this really neat sort of yellow um, uh, overall color to the piece that's just slightly different because it's very um, industrial, Alison Wells' piece in comparison to the very pastoral sort of Lisa Rickinson. But um, so a lot of the relationships I'm looking, I was looking at when I was hanging it um, had to do with colors because that's just, you know, what, you know, what works for me visually. Um, so a lot of the colors kind of flow throughout the show. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss our future creative convo.